Hey everybody, welcome back to Everyday Thrifty Living. I'm Cass, so this is all the And if you're new to channel, please hit the subscribe button, click the bell so you find every time we upload a video. <laughs> and today we have another, we have an Instagram freebie here. Your brain's going too fast, but your tongue's going slower. Something like that, probably. Anyway, they offer freebie samples on Instagram through ads. Uh, just use a throwaway email address that you have access to. You put out your address and they'll send you like perfume samples, beauty samples sometimes. And I've really got a lot of samples I need to get through. Sometimes they send you good size samples and sometimes they send you like a piece of paper with a little thing on it. You're like, what? So, so they usually come in a box like this, a white box. And today we are going to be doing the Donna Karen Cashmere Mist Eau de Parfum perfume that's what it looks like i never owned a damn donna karen now i have heard of donna karen this brand i think has been around for ages well, i've heard of it i just yeah. never bought one we've never owned anything donna karen so this we have yeah. a little sample here looks to be a decent size one filled almost all the way to the top so i'm going to read off here or somebody posts a picture of me with a donna karen scarf <laughs> walking down the street so here we have here so it comes in one two three four four si four sizes we have the 0.24 fluid ounce, which is the purse spray, which is $30, which is your standard typical price for a purse spray. The one fluid ounce is $74. The uh -huh. 1.7 fluid ounce is $88. And the 3.4 fluid ounce is $106. So wow. this is a pricey, pricey perfume. So basic. So this was introduced over 20 years ago, way back in 1994. The iconic cashmere mist bottle took its inspiration from an artistic piece by Donna Karen's late husband, sculptor Stephen Weiss, for Cashmere Mist Eau de Toilette. This the iconic. Wow, that came out when I was a teenager. <laughs> this iconic bottle is luxuriously frosted with outer packaging in a serene silver. So basically, it's a very fancy bottle. Okay, so the scent is, this is the description of the perfume. I have it right here. A sublime whisper of cashmere against bare skin. Cashmere Miss Eau de Toilet is a sheer floral fragrance. A lighter, fresh interpretation in the cashmere mist collection. I put nothing on me. It sounds like toilet. <laughs> With a subtler, 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 yeah, concentration of essences than the Eau de Parfum, combining Moroccan jasmine, lily of the valley, oh and the freshness of bergamot, oh. against a warm background of sandalwood, amber, and musk. Oh, it's good. the perfect veil of luxury and light enough to wear all over your body all year long. You just threw everything in there except for the kitchen sink, huh? So this is available on Donna Karen's Donna Karen sites, Sephora, Macy's, Bloomingdale. As a hint of uh, kitchen Sephora, sink. Macy's. Bloomingdale's, even on Amazon, even on Amazon. Amazon sells everything. Amazon sells everything. So, with all, all that in mind, let's spray. Let us see what is iconic about the Donna Karen Cashmere Mist. So, I'm going to spray it on this right here. Uh -huh. So, we are. There we go. Ooh. That is strong. Let me see. Strong. You could definitely smell the. I've smelled women wearing this perfume. That is strong. I always wondered what it was. Oh, Moroccan it's, jasmine, lily of the valley, bourbon. It's not bad. It's just sandalwood, amber, and musk. It must be the sandalwood, amber, and musk. That is strong. One whiff, I think, is all you need. One, maybe one, because it's, it's not bad. It's just I wouldn't spend a hundred something dollars on it. Hundred and six dollars? No. Oh gosh. No, no, no. Amber, Moroccan jasmine, a powerfully fragrant, sandalwood. It has to be the sandalwood. That's what it is. It smells like one of the air fresheners I have. Sandalwood. And it's probably the sandalwood. Ultimate layer of luxury. I think I'm getting a headache now. Luxury? Luxury. Oh. Luxury. If, so I suppose if you like sandalwood, then this would be your perfume. Yeah. If you like the if amber you musk, like if you like that musky amber. Sandalwood. I don't know what amber is. I have no idea. I'm assuming I thought it's... amber was a color. <laughs> okay. Um. Woo. This is strong. I'm uh, sniffing it then. I can't stop. It smells like something like a teacher would wear. No, no teacher of mine yeah. ever wore it, this. It smells like for a more mature woman. It does smell like a. It's a I can't definitely... see an 18 year old or no. a 20 year old wearing this. I don't no, idea. but I could see like a woman in her. 
forties, fifties. Thank you, forties. I, I wouldn't wear it. Um, uh, 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 one of those uh, half Luton women, you know, because they're all they're all like, you know, I'm done wearing Donna Karen. Yeah. So that's it. So we that's the Donna Karen perfume. It's okay. Right. Not something I would ever. It's not one that I would actually purchase. Uh, let me know about down below. Have you ever smelled the Donna Karen cashmere mist? Have you ever owned it? Have you ever owned anything from Donna Karen? I've never owned a single thing from Donna Karen line. I know that's supposed to be like another like bougie line. What? It's true. I, I agree. I remember that. once seeing a substitute teacher having a, a Donna Karen bag. Or was that something else? Or was I that don't a coach know. I bag? People would bag Donna Karen all that. I I say, what did that cost? Thirty bucks? It's kind of more than that. But it just doesn't feel like one of those Versace kind of, you know, Gucci feels to me. You know no, Donna Karen reminds me of the um It would be something like it was another uh, brand I was thinking of. Michael Core? No, Michael Core I think is above Donna Karen. <laughs> Donna Karen reminds me of like uh <laughs> I don't know. Oh my God. Charlie, Anjali. Oh my God. They, they keep talking about Anjali. I've never heard of Anjali. Let me know down below. Have you guys ever heard of Anjali? I've never heard of that in my life. It, it's like, it's like if anybody older would remember the Cologne Taboo. Taboo? I've never heard of this in my life. Well, I'm sorry. We were poor when we were growing up. Okay, that's it for us today. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know all that stuff down below. Have a great day. Have a great week. This stuff is strong. Yeah. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.